for the next two weeks, I'm going to be traveling around Borneo. Ah! Ah! This island is made up of rich, biodiverse landscapes that are home to some of the world's most impressive creatures, from playful monkeys, colorful birds, pygmy elephants, and of course, orangutans. I'll be traveling in a group of 16 people, and we'll be first attempting to summit the mighty Mount Kinabalu before soaking in the island's natural wonders and trying to see as much of Borneo's wildlife as possible. Oh my God. The island of Borneo is split between three countries, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei. On this trip, we're going to be traveling in the Malaysian side, in particular, the state of Sabah. So this trip is a bespoke tour that I organize with Intrepid Travel and put on sale to you guys that follow my channel. And we were originally supposed to do this tour back in April 2020. We were like three weeks from flying out and then the whole world shut down. And it got postponed a year, and then another, and then another. And so now, three years later, we're finally gonna get to go to Borneo. We have made it to Turtle Island. How's everybody doing? Good. But the interesting thing about this trip is, whilst most of it will be quite relaxed and just exploring nature and hopefully seeing lots of wildlife, before we get to all that, we're going to be doing this massive physical challenge. Have a safe climb. Let's all have a safe climb. We're going to be hiking up Mount Kinabalu, one of the highest mountains in Southeast Asia. And from the base to the summit, we'll be sending over 2,000 meters in altitude. So it's kind of like before we get to enjoy just, you know, hanging out with orangutans and turtles and things like that, we have to earn it by climbing this massive mountain. This is exhausting. But yeah, I still can't quite believe that this trip's actually happening, like after all this time. And the group's changed a bit over the years, like people have come and gone because of the delays. But I know the 16 of us we have now are super excited for this adventure, so let's get to it. Setting off from London, I flew out to Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia, where I'll be spending a couple of nights before heading to Borneo, and a few other people from our tour group will be there as well. Kuala Lumpur is well known as a melting pot of Southeast Asia, where many different races and cultures make the city a vibrant place to visit. First up, we took the metro to the Batu Caves that are just on the edge of town. The Batu Caves are one of the most popular Hindu shrines outside of India, plus it's also a fantastic location to film some super original Instagram reels. We have made it to the Batu Caves. Having a look at the ground, it's a high probability we're gonna get on one. There's that many pigeons. They were carrying a kid in a basket there, and they're gonna carry it all the way up the stairs. It's they, the baby. <laughs> Guessing some kind of blessing thing, but. Just saying, we've always seen pictures of the front of the caves with the steps, but I've never really looked at pictures of inside. Uh, so I didn't realize it was going to be this large. But I also knew it was a cave because it's called a cave. <laughs> didn't expect this. Incredible. That evening, we went to Jalan Ulor, which is a bustling food street situated in downtown KL. Just trying to find somewhere to go. It's hard to pick because it all looks so delicious. I screwed the cheers up there. <laughs> we basically ordered a bit of everything. We got chicken, beef, prawns, got some prawns on the way, some veg. Um, but yeah, just tucking in all this amazing food. So we were on 
the street food street. <laughs> and we've come around to the bar street just around the corner. So all the food down there, all the bars here. Pretty much every bar has the same deals on, so it's all the same, same, but different. But pretty pumping, pretty busy. Good <laughs> The next day, my girlfriend Jamie arrived, and after three years of delays, it was finally time to fly to Borneo. Actually boarding a flight to Borneo. <laughs> it's actually happening. Ooh, Wi-Fi. <laughs> we made it. Yeah. Well, well, we're we making it. We're making it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just over a two and a half hour flight to Kota Kinabalu, where our tour of Borneo will officially begin. First step. Man. We're here in Borneo. We're here. We've arrived in Kota Kinabalu. The tour starts tomorrow. Jamie had the idea of doing a sunset boat tour so everyone just hang out, get to know each other. Great idea to do that. Great idea. Jamie always has great ideas. We found a quote online from a guy, but he wanted to charge us 6,000, which is like over a thousand pounds. And so we ended up saying no. But then Darren spoke to his hotel's sponsor, Hedge, who has a mate, who has a taxi, <laughs> whose other mate owns a boat. <laughs> And we've got that for 900, it's an absolute bargain. So yeah, we- Not a thousand pounds, 900 ringgit. Yeah, exactly. Not <laughs> so we don't know what it's gonna be like, but it'll be fun. <laughs> So we can see all the way back there, Mount Kinabalu, that we're going to be climbing in two days' time. I think it looks really daunting no. over the town. But let's not worry about that now. Yeah. The water's crystal clear. Um, the island's on fire, but other than that, it's beautiful. Sunset boat has turned out pretty good. <laughs> look, look, look more this way. More this way, and like, like you're thinking about something. Like, yeah, like put your you're pondering put your... life. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Maureen's got an idea. <laughs> Cool, because like we were just all chatting away, enjoying it, and then we got to this point around the back of the island and just stops to look at the sunset. The boat didn't just stop, everyone just kind of just stopped chatting and just kind of just looked at it and soaked it in, so good start to the trip. The next day, the rest of our group arrived and we met up with our local guide, Felix. Then the following morning, it was time to finally hit the road and head to Mount Kinabalu, where we'll be doing our big hike. Morning, morning. We're late. <laughs> it's y'all's <your> fault. <laughs> okay, so uh, guys, good morning. Hi. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Selamat pagi. Now, basically, we will go to Kinabalu Park. All right. Uh, it will take approximately around two or two and a half hour. We might make a stop along the way to see the temple. So in Malaysia, there's four main religions. There's Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, and Buddhism. And we come to a Buddhist temple right now, and they're doing this like, hour-long prayer ceremony where they just do laps around the temple. It's just so peaceful, it's so... I could just stand and watch this for an hour. It was about a two-hour drive to the entrance of Kinabalu Park and we made a stop just beforehand 
to try and get a view of the mountain. Actually, the mountain is uh, there. somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah, up there. So that's what we're climbing tomorrow. You just can't see it. Yeah, it really is. Uh, this one, they might be sting. Really? <laughs> oh, like quickly. Oh, smell it. Oh, smell it. Smell it. Oh, wow. I think that's the prettiest bug I've ever seen. Honey pineapple? Jamie's bought some honey pineapple. And I bought a couple of t shirts. So when you see me wearing the Borneo branded stuff from the, tomorrow, basically. That's where I got him, but first... A little presumptive, I think. He has not climbed the mountain yet. It didn't say I'd climb the mountain, it just says the name of the mountain. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so name the mountain that I'm going to attempt. Nice. Alright, so we just made it to Kenobaloo Park and basically it's doing all the pre-registration for the hike tomorrow, which is basically signing your life away. After getting settled into our lodge for the evening, the clouds finally cleared and we got to have our first proper view of Mount Kinabalu. So the clouds are just cleared up and we can actually see where we're heading up tomorrow, which doesn't look too bad from here, but I'm sure it'll be different tomorrow. Ready? <laughs> I'm not sure, but we're going to do it anyways. <laughs> Mount Kinabalu is one of the highest mountains in Southeast Asia, with the peak being just over 4,000 meters or 13,000 feet above sea level. The hike to the top is only 8.7 kilometers or 5.4 miles long, but we ascend over 2,000 meters in altitude, which means it's going to be very steep. On the first day, we hike 6 kilometers up to the rest house, and then at 2 a.m. the next morning, we hike up to the summit for sunrise, and then after that, we hike all the way back down that same day. So everyone in our group made sure they got a good night's sleep before we start our big physical challenge in the morning. Felix, this one. Hi Felix. Uh, Felix. How many of you have the Number 13. Uh, Felix, you said he's a mountain legend. Yeah, this is he's the legend. legend. Oh, yeah. He's already anyway. climbed the mountain since uh, 19... I raised it not by the Sabah Park since 1979. Wow! 1979, yeah. So how many times already yeah. climbed? Allah lost count thousand, <laughs> thousand, thousand times. <laughs> so. We are very lucky to do that. <laughs> that's, why, that's why since from last night I did all the good weather for uh, us. You. Yes. Yes. you should pray for the good weather for tomorrow. Yes. yes. Also tomorrow. Uh, yes, tomorrow. <laughs> Can you order that now? Uh, Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, here we go. Okay, we're all set. This is what we've been not training for. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? Very good. Let's do it. Let's go. That's minimal enthusiasm. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> we love it. No, we're doing it. High five. High five. That was a terrible yeah. time. Sorry. High five. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready to go. Nice. Nice and slow is the best way yeah. to do it. I'm going off Jamie's in a Yes! <laughs> See how long you can maintain that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun. <laughs> no one's gonna know. Welcome back, you're a successful climber. Let's remember this moment. <laughs> 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 We're back here crying. No Alright, let's climb up by going down. Let's go. Yeah. And we start going up. <laughs> All right then, that's what we signed up for. Well, we've done the first kilometer at least. So five more today and 7.7 .7 more in total. It was hard, <laughs> but... How are we doing? Good. Excellent. Oh my God. 
Yeah. How was that? <laughs> Terrifying, but also adorable. <laughs> You're like a Disney princess will land all over you. I'm coming. <laughs> It's amazing, you come out of the jungle and it's just wow. this big tunnel of green and then suddenly this amazing That's open area. Yeah, yeah. So much warmer. It's beautiful. <laughs> Each time you get a bit thinking, this is not too bad. There's another mammoth set of stairs. Oh, massive, oh, massive steps. Oh, oh. We're at the halfway point of today. That last kilometer was a lot harder. I was just like, I just I was feeling a bit more confident about it. It's like, nope. <laughs> <sighs> We're getting there though. One right, step at a time. One step at a time. And there's lots of steps. <laughs> God knows what the video of this is going to be like because it's just more and more stairs. It's like, did I film this already? Yes. <laughs> it's like, you guys get the idea. It's endless stairs through the jungle. But yes, this is why I prefer trekking in mountains rather than jungles because in mountains, the view keeps on changing and you get a sense of progress in where you are, whilst this is just gets monotonous after a while. It's like, ah, more trees, more stairs. And more stairs. And then after that... Guess what? More stairs. <laughs> How are you doing, guys? Are you enjoying the stairs? <laughs> Just stair steppers for hours. <laughs> We've uh, made it to the 4K mark, so two thirds of the way through today. Yeah. Nearly halfway through the whole thing, but two thirds of the day. The lady will it's tired. <laughs> In case you can't tell, it's tired. No oh, easy. Easy. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> is like a mental battle now rather than physical it's just like an endless slog of like why are we doing this but yeah I come to a nice clearing here I mean you got see the mountain right here edge of the tree line and the clouds just coming straight up over this is good he feels like you're making progress now Finally. just a bit of a clearing terrain's changing as well it's no longer yeah. just the steps it's now just like it's rock. rock face which yeah. i think is what we're getting yeah for the whole rest of the time <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but i actually prefer it is it's it's trickier to find your footing but it's less just <gasps> yeah plodding of yeah. of steps Well, the rain has come. Getting so close to the house. And the rain time again. Half a kilometer to go. Just have to watch every single step that you're doing. Because otherwise your ankles are just gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> you made it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I I love hiking, but that was just a mind-numbing <laughs> show up a slog. Just never-ending. Hopefully tomorrow with the sunrise and all that will be spectacular, make it all worth it. But right now it's like, why are we doing this? <laughs> It'll be worth it. It will be worth, worth it. it. I'm just venting. We're just coming out of it right now, right? Yeah. It's just like, all you feel is your knees and your ankles and your feet. Yeah. Now I'll do the version for Instagram. That was perfect. <laughs> so blessed with every step on the way up. I hate when people say that. We're off. We made it. We made it. We're, yeah. I don't yeah. think I'd do it again. <laughs> no. Good. Still smiling. Actually okay, but sweaty. It's just Get so out of here, yeah. Bobby. Oh, better than I thought. I'm sure you love it. Yeah, what's that with you? <laughs> 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 this is the dorm room. One nice thing they do is actually provide flip flops because if you've been hiking all day, you want to change out your hiking boots straight away. And so I brought flip flops up with me, but actually they provide some, which is pretty good of them. Place is great, setup's great, food's good. I'm just shattered. Congratulations, everyone! This is my mountain. Welcome to my mountain. <laughs> <laughs> For tomorrow, we're going to start around 2.30 a.m. 2.30? Yeah, 2.30 a.m. Yeah. So meaning to say 2 a.m. You guys will have uh, breakfast. I mean, food, breakfast. Yeah. Okay, like... Yeah, I think you call it supper, right? Okay. They said downstairs. Yeah, yeah supper. Well, we don't normally eat at 2 a.m., so we don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't call it anything. Unless it's like late night takeaway after yeah. a piss up. Yeah. Drunk yeah. food, that's what I call it. Drunk and kebab. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you guys ask me what time you need to wake up, uh, usually over here, they're quite um, noisy as well. <laughs> so, almost probably around 1.30 a.m. like that, you already wake up already. And then after 2 a.m., have a uh, food, and then we start our summit climb anyway. Well, we've come out for sunset, and it was all cloudy, couldn't see anything when we walked out, but now it's just swished away. And we're like above the main cloud line here. This is the kind of view you get from a plane. So clear that way now. Great. The sunset has made me feel a lot better about tomorrow. Yeah. See this, and hopefully we're gonna get this tomorrow with the sunrise. It's like okay, Thank you. okay. You like it, yeah. <laughs> Orange it is. You had your picture. No, you had close. <laughs> These are probably the best colors that I've ever seen for a sunset. The orange and the blue is is wild. <laughs> yeah. Well done, nature. Well done, planet Earth. You've lifted my spirits. After relaxing for the evening, we all settled down for what felt like a good six or seven minutes sleep. And then we were up for our 2 a.m. breakfast or supper or whatever you want to call it meal. All right, breakfast is served. <laughs> Today, we're walking the 2.7 kilometers up to the summit for sunrise and then walking all the way back down to the bottom. It is 2.30 in the morning. How are we feeling? Are we excited? Are we, what are we? Right out of the uh, I'm feeling a lot better than I did when we arrived. So yeah, I'm sure. more energized. Yeah. So, yeah, have fun. And by the way, the moon is very bright today. Yay! Look at the water. Yeah, I'll make sure everyone has enough water. Am I not my norm? Yeah, it's all. Here we go. Yeah, I'm here, I'm just behind you. You're just stuck in a queue.
轻人。The start you're in this massive queue going up the stairs, but then it cleared up a bit, and you're kind of scrambling over rocks and climbing up ropes, and that was way more interesting. Plus, because you're beyond the tree line, so you could feel a sense of progress and where you're going, and you had the views back down, so you could see Kodak in blue and the lights from there and stuff. Oh, it's nice to like face down. Yeah. Take the tension off my calves. Just a second. Hi. Five oh nine. Oh, it's so bright. Uh, <laughs> this is exhausting. The final stretch up was full of all these like false horizons, and you keep going up towards the peak. Oh, look at that! Nearly there. Just leading up to this bit. Alright, we've made it to the top just in time for sunrise. It's a bit of a queue to touch the actual sign, so I'm not worried about that. But the shadow of the mountain. Oh uh, yeah. Plenty, yeah, yeah. As Jamie said you can see the shadow of the mountain and the clouds and the ocean. Look what we're surrounded by. Guess good. it was worth it. Amazing. <laughs> we made it. It's getting warmer now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not yet. I'm fine. Babes. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. It's a slog to get up, but it's, yeah. it's worth it. I guess it was worth it. <laughs> That's incredible. Unlike anything I've ever seen. How are you feeling, Lucy? Oh my god, this oh. man is absolutely incredible. Oh. <laughs> He's doing very good. Would not have got here without him. So glad I made it there. Proud of you. Thank you. Bye bye. Proud, Proud of you. All we gotta do right now is get back down. Just bottom shuffle away all the way down there. Easier said than done. So the journey back down, like it started out great and we were feeling good about reaching the summit and enjoying the spectacular views back down to the valley. But then it got steeper and steeper and by the time we reached the guest house, all of our legs were ruined. We have refueled with breakfast. Now it's just the 6K walk down. Or roll down. Our body already hurts. We love that. And so what followed next was going down the endless, endless stairs through the jungle. And I could make a whole other separate film about the physical and mental trauma we went through on that journey down. But I didn't actually film it because people were in a lot of pain and it just wouldn't have been appropriate. But it was just a never ending misery through the jungle. And we were told we'd be down at the bottom in time for lunch. But the last of us didn't get down until 5.30 in the evening. Down was way more difficult than up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there was this huge sense of relief when we actually reached the bottom. And a few people actually shed some tears, including myself, because I'm not joking, it was that bad and I was just so glad it was finally over. How was it? <laughs> so the next morning, it was time to get on with the rest of the tour, which was going to be a lot more relaxed than just enjoying the wildlife but the group was still feeling a little sore from yesterday's hike. How's everyone feeling? Hey. <laughs> really, really bad, really bad. No words, okay, go. Cool.
Where are we going today? Uh, today we're going to Sandakan. Sandakan, yeah. okay. Sandakan. Quite interesting place. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> scares me every time you say interesting. <laughs> It's a six hour drive to Sandakan, a port city that's used as a launch pad to visit some of the most popular wildlife attractions, such as the Turtle Islands and the Orangutan Rehabilitation Center. Where are we going, Felix? Where are we going? We're going to the island. Turtle Island. <laughs> Turtle Island. <laughs> Boom. Turtle Island! <laughs> Basically, we're at the jetty to get the boat, and the jetty's still being built, so <laughs> it's still under construction. Before we got on the boat, I discovered inside the ticket office some rather traumatized turtles. What's wrong? Aww. It's the saddest turtle I've ever seen. Putting plastic in the ocean. It's looking horrible. I want, I want this turtle, not that turtle. Well, that was a design brief. Can you make that into a soft toy? You sure? You come back. What did you do to him? Felix. What were we just talking about? Well, who's your favorite artist and favorite song to sing karaoke? Brian Adams. Stop. <laughs> Please forgive me. He's on the right tour. <laughs> Hi, Brian's. <laughs> oh my God! I can't get away from it. <laughs> Uh, Excited. Hoping the turtles aren't sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a short boat ride out to the island where hopefully tonight we'll see turtles come ashore and lay their eggs. So we have another like one hour like that to go to the uh, island. All right. been to an island like this before and I think it's probably the most beautiful place we've ever been. It's is stunning. How's everybody doing? Yeah. This is our home for the next day so when the sun goes down tonight the turtle is going to arrive. We don't know when but until then the plan is just chill, swim, snorkel, have some beers, have some relaxing time. So yes, very happy. At 6.30 tonight we all go for dinner and then everybody has to stay put in the main room because the turtles might start arriving and they don't want anybody to disturb them. Then once the turtles are settled and start laying their eggs, the staff will shout turtle time and then we're all escorted out by a ranger to go and see them. So before we get locked in the room for the evening, we're going to go enjoy the sunset on the beach. Placing bets on what time the turtle is going to show up. I it can happen any time between about seven and three a.m. Like seven p.m. and three a.m. So obviously early then. There's two more. Who hasn't paid? We'll put money in. Whoever's the closest gets the more money. Come on, get your ringgits out. <laughs> Oh, this is the, uh, oh, yeah. very technical. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is 8.44, so at 8.33 she leaves. I bet 
Yeah. I don't want to. I'd rather someone who's earlier won than me. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see the tail. <laughs> <laughs> After hanging around for over four hours, we got word that the turtles were here. So the first turtle has arrived, so Maureen's won the sweepstakes, but we can't go out yet because the turtles need to settle and they need more turtles as well. This is turtle time. Go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. <laughs> now, with the turtles, you're allowed to take photos, but video is strictly prohibited. So we had to apply for special permission to be able to film here. A very good evening to all of you. Okay. This is one of the species we call it a green turtle. So tonight we are very lucky. Whilst the turtles lay their eggs, there's only a minimal amount of light that's shot on them. On average, they lay 110 eggs per nest, and because they're an endangered species, the rangers take the eggs away without them noticing and keep them safe from predators in the island's hatchery. The turtles are then measured and tagged so the national park can gain a clearer picture of the turtle's growth, distribution, and population. 89, still wow. 60. <laughs> Following this, the group leaves the turtle alone to return to sea. Then the eggs are buried in the hatchery for around 60 days, and we'll now see a previous batch of hatchlings being released to the sea. Only about 1 in 1,000 will actually survive to adulthood, so the park wants to give them as good a chance as possible. So I hope everyone enjoyed the total viewing last yep. night. Yeah. And, yeah. and then after that, now we are going to the Sapilo Porang Mutan Rehabilitation Center. Yep. We have another like one hour to the jetty first. After taking the boat back to the mainland, it was just a half hour bus ride to the orangutan center. All right, we just made it to the orangutan rehabilitation center. This is the thing I've been most looking forward to on the entire trip, so I'm absolutely buzzing to be here this morning. Like, ever since I was a kid, like, in fact, a baby, monkeys and apes have been my favorite animal, so I've got a real childlike excitement going through today. And we have to wear masks when we're inside there to protect the monkeys, so that's why we're doing that. You can hear him in the distance. Can't see him yet. Sepalok Rehabilitation Center cares for young orangutans who are orphaned as a result of illegal logging and deforestation and those who have been rescued from illegal pet trading. The rehabilitation process could take up to seven years before they are released into the surrounding forest reserve to fend for themselves although they'll sometimes return to the center to try and grab a free meal. 
In the wild, orangutan babies stay with their mothers for up to six years while they are taught the skills they need to survive in the forest, the most important of which is climbing. At Sepalog, a buddy system is used to replace a mother's teaching. A younger ape will be paired up with an older one to help them develop the skills they need. You like the orangutans? They're adorable. They're so cute. So, so cute. They all have their little feeding time there and then just swung away back into the jungle. Took some snacks to go. Yeah, some snacks for the road. The orangutans can roam freely around the reserve, and so just as we were walking to a feeding platform, one of them decided to come and say hello. Uh, keep go, keep walk, keep walk, keep walk, keep walk. On your mask, keep walk. On your mask, keep walk. Put on your mask. On your mask. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Let's just come right past. <laughs> We were lucky to arrive at the feeding platform just in time for one of the rangers to come out with a basket of food, much to the delight of these two orangutans. And just as they were tucking in, a pigtailed macaque decided to get in on the action as well. Just as we were watching them, we started seeing some rustling and movement in the distant trees. And then the other orangutans cleared off, so you could tell that something big was coming. That was one of the most magnificent creatures I've ever seen. It was just so, so beautiful. Just a magical moment getting to see him. Oh, wow. Yeah, boy, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Don't get too close. Yeah. Yeah, boy, yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. And we also saw, what is it? giant squirrel thing <laughs> and we saw a viper way back too that's in the middle very poisonous did not like the viper didn't like that one <laughs> no. across the road from the orangutan center is the borneo sun bear conservation center malayan sun bears are the smallest bears in the world and are only found in southeast asia making them the second rarest bear species after the giant panda. Their name comes from the pale horseshoe shape on their chests, which is said to resemble the setting or rising sun. After this, we grabbed some lunch and made our way to our next destination. It was about a two hour drive to Kinabatangan, where we'll be staying the next two nights at a river lodge. So we are just transferring from our bus to the boat, and it is hot here. Really, 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 really hot. To the lodge. Let's go. That way. Or possibly that way. <laughs> Luxurious. <laughs> so this is our room. 
pretty nice. Oh, I've got a lounge area down here. A little couch, shower. I can make this work. <laughs> This was the place I was most excited for, for where we're going to stay on this trip. And it's already living up to all expectations. Yeah. Rooms are amazing. There's a swimming pool. It's a fully stocked bar. Two pools. Two pools. Two pools. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so it's time for a late afternoon river cruise. Let's see what wildlife we can spot. We're aiming for the super, super rare elephants, but we'll see what happens. Vincent, this is Long Telmacac. Long Telmacac, so far as I know, they can consider very common mountain. So this is our first time at yeah. Nine more to go. Nine more to go. <laughs> Alright, Vincent. What trade do you want to buy? Ooh, ooh, look at those greens There's a third one, yeah. Oh, wow. They're so small. So it's a pygmy elephant. It's the smallest elephant in the world. And it's only like 1,500 of them in the world. So the fact we got to see him, oh, it's just <laughs> so, 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 so lucky. It's just beautiful. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Yes. Oh, wow. Hey, Zazu. Zazu. <laughs> or Zazu's cousin. Zazu's Asian cousin. Asian cousin. <laughs> So Felix just said it's a rhinoceros hornbill, and hornbills generally travel in pairs, like a male and a female. And the two of them are very faithful to each other, and will stay together for the whole of their lives. Oh, there's a tiny little baby one in the top right here. <laughs> that was incredible. A whole tree full of. I don't even know how many monkeys, maybe 30. Just like little baby ones playing around, adults. This is turning into a very, very good evening cruise. Well, that evening boat tour exceeded all expectations. We saw everything. <laughs> I think we found the elephant anyway. Yay. Very, very happy group, just blown away by the wildlife we've just seen. And we've got another full day here. Loads more to see. Before we settled down for dinner, we had to make sure we were appropriately dressed for the meal. At this jungle lodge, we've been given sarongs to wear for dinner. <laughs> However, <laughs> not a word of a joke, no setup here. Please check out the sarong that Carl has been provided. <laughs> 
basically a check shirt sarong. Okay. The, Point Y. The patterns are <laughs> stellar this evening. <laughs> <laughs> I look good. <laughs> it's called fashion, ladies and gentlemen. Deal with it. The next morning, we were up at the crack of dawn to go on our Sunrise River cruise to see if we can spot some more wildlife. Good morning, Vincent. What? Thank you so much. Personal service. <laughs> 6 a.m. morning cruise. Crack a dawn. Let's go. Let's find some orangutans. That way. That way. That way. We've been incredibly lucky with the wildlife we've seen so far, but what we'd really love to see right now was some orangutans in the wild. There you are. This is the proboscis monkey known for their unusually large nose. They're one of the largest monkey species native to Asia, and they can only be found here in Borneo. And we'll get a much closer look at them in a couple of days' time at a sanctuary. So this is a grey-headed fish eagle. Over there, we've got a stork billed kingfisher. Wow. Oh. Yeah, he's put on a show now, bud. So the kingfisher just flew down and caught a fish, just as I was switching the camera settings. Heard an orangutan, but can we find it? Stay tuned. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> we can hear something over there. We're just not sure where they are. With no luck with the orangutans yet, we headed back to the lodge and spent the middle part of the day just relaxing by the pool. Just roughing it in the jungle. <laughs> All right, it's time for the afternoon cruise. Cheers, Noah. That's Noah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, time for the afternoon cruise. Or oh, evening, early evening cruise is 4 p.m. We're doing what we did yesterday this time. Let's see what we're gonna see today. The orangutan hunt continues. We're going downstream this time. Come on, come on. River. I haven't seen anything yet, but it's really cool. Really atmospheric. <laughs> yeah, so just tons of monkeys around us now, they're all just staring at us like, what are you guys doing here? Right here. On the oh my god. Oh my god. Look, look at that. Look at that. Whenever you're out trying to see wildlife, it's always a roll of the dice. So you just have to be grateful for what you do see, rather than worrying about what you didn't. And so, we may not have seen wild orangutans yet, but we still had an amazing, amazing time here. And just as we were cruising back in the sunset, I put the Jurassic Park music on our speakers. 
which I wish I had the rights to so I could show the clip. But you'll just have to take my word for it that it was a perfect moment. That evening at the lodge, we'd heard a lot about how much Felix loves karaoke, so we thought we'd have a bit of a sing song. How do you sing this? Well, you start at the top and you work your way down. <laughs> Please forgive me. I know what I do. Please forgive me. I can't stop loving you. Don't deny me. It's when I'm going through. Please forgive me. I can't stop loving you. Hey. Okay, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep as I miss you, babe. And I don't want to miss a day. See when I dream of you. The sweetest dream I'll never do. I still miss you, babe. And I don't We're now heading to the final stop of our trip and we're going to be staying right by the Rainforest Discovery Center for two nights, the highlight of which we'll be doing a jungle night walk to see what creatures come out in the dark. Just arrived at my nature resort for the next two nights. Welcome refreshing towel, welcome drink. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, this is our giant room. Living room, bed, and a little lounge area. And that's the pool right there. Another stressful day in Borneo. This is like the polar opposite to start the trip. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Cheers. So we've just come to the Rainforest Discovery Center for the evening for a walk around. Got a huge butterfly just here. Such a big sound, just a little bird. This is the hunting tower, the highest tower. We've all been studying and waiting about half an hour for the flying squirrel to fly. I have uh, so much respect for wildlife videographers and photographers because you stand there for ages and just as your arms and hands get tired and you press stop for a second, that's when it happens. Oh, 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 I finally got one, but only a tiny bit there. Definitely got some award-winning footage of a flying squirrel there. Whilst I might have completely failed to film any of the jumps, fortunately Jamie managed to capture one of them on her phone. Right, ready. <laughs> Back at the hotel, we were treated to the best buffet dinner we've had on the trip. And then, the next morning, we were up before breakfast to try and spot some more wildlife. So it's 
6 a.m. and we've come back to the Rainforest Discovery Centre to try and see the orangutan. They're usually around first thing in the morning. This might be our last chance to see them in the wild, so wish us luck. Flying squirrels are peeking their heads out of their nest. Just the sounds here this morning. Amazing. When the hornbills fly over, you can actually hear their wings. Like, not just when they're flapping, just when they're soaring across. It sounds like a little plane or something. It could be a snake also. Still no luck with a wild orangutan, but no complaints because it's such a beautiful morning. And we finished off the walk by going to see the Sepulok giant tree. It's 19 stories tall, this tree here. Pretty big. After breakfast, we drove half an hour to the Lubbock Bay Proboscis Monkey Sanctuary. This sanctuary opened in 2000 when the landowners discovered the proboscis monkeys living in the mangrove forest. So they decided to protect their current habitat as well as implement a food supplement program to help the monkeys survive. Just as we were admiring them in the trees, one of them decided to come get real close. She just came running on the corridor, and he's right here. He looks like he's about to do a talk, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah, he's just about to start doing a PowerPoint. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to the feeding. Hope you're all well. <laughs> While the initial drive of setting up Labuk Bay was to protect the proboscis monkeys, it was apparent that without a forest left for the monkeys to call home, any conservation efforts would be futile. And so, there's now been more than 50,000 trees replanted here in 550 acres of protected mangrove forest. It's so sweet. That was uh, way better than I thought it was going to be. Not that I thought it was going to be bad, but we knew we'd get close, but we didn't realize we'd get that close. What have we got? Mud Skipper. Sounds like an Aussie name. Mud Skipper? Yeah, I think in English you call it Mud Skipper. Mud Skipper. He looks like a big slug. Yeah, like a slug. I want to see him walk. That evening, we returned to the Rainforest Discovery Center to do a night walk and see what animals we could find that only come out in the dark. What are we doing? We're doing for the night walk for today. And what do we hope to see? Uh, Western Tasha, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy, crawly, scary things. Maybe. Pit vipers. Pit vipers. Pit vipers. Why are you so excited? <laughs> I don't know, I like <laughs> snakes. <laughs> Tarantula. No. Tarantula maybe, yes. No. Yeah. Tarantulas. I thought you don't like spiders. I know. I like tarantulas. They're not like spiders. They're like they're a furry. Like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything tastes like chicken to you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna get it. <laughs> the two animals we're really keen to see tonight are two of the smaller, rarer primates around here: the western tarsier and the slow loris. Yeah, but we not from us. We'll be able to see that because it's nature. But we'll try. 
Okay. Okay, guys, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> This is a Western township. Oh, there he is. Come here, guys. Is it? Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> Come here. One of the oldest primates in the world. 55 million years they've been around. It's tiny and it's so, so cute. Oh, I got you. He's looking right at us. He's looking right at us. Yeah, look at that. I just spotted something else. What is it? Slow lotus. Oh, slow lotus. Oh, slow lotus. Slow lotus. <laughs> just saw a slow loris. I think basically like a sloth, but so cute. So we're 45 minutes into the two hour night walk. Already seen the two really rare things we wanted to see, so completed it. Crushed it. Crushed it. Oh yeah, that's here. That's here, yeah? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, little one. You never see that how often on these night walks do you see a slow loris and a western cashew? <laughs> very rare. Very rare. So we saw two of each tonight. No, the reflection of the eye. Two of each, plus an owl eating a rat. So. Yeah. What do you think of the night walk? I think I was about outstanding, I really do. Yeah. It's, it's been sweaty and warm and everything else, but well worth it. I feel like I've just taken a shower. Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, yes. And not in a good way. No, 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 none of us are going to be hugging each other tonight. No. Thank you for joining the night walk. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very glad because you guys are doing this uh, night walk. <laughs> <laughs> to Sloloris, to Western Tasia. That that's, was your record? That's my record actually. The so best you've fun. ever done. <laughs> you know in Latin, Felix is lucky, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty much the end of the trip. About to fly back to KK. Plot twist, the sad turtle speaks. <laughs> that's why these ones are happy. <laughs> <laughs> happy turtles can feel love. I love you. I love you. <laughs> But we just found out that the big male orangutan we saw at Sepalot is actually a wild orangutan. Just wandered in, so smashed it, smashed it. Wild orangutan. What a magnificent one to see as well. Yeah. Well, wow. Yes. Oh, by the way, he's called Felix. <laughs> Boom. Felix is happy. We boarded our short flight back to Kota Kinabalu, which took us straight past the mountain we climbed just a few days ago. And then for our farewell dinner, we were treated to a traditional Sumazao dance originating from the Karazan Dusan tribes, which they inevitably got us involved with. We also had a go at shooting darts with a blowgun, which was great fun. <laughs>
have had luck with the blowgun, but the next challenge resulted in me rolling my ankle. <laughs> such a lovely cultural evening so thank you for that yeah. and now we're going to counteract that by going to the Irish pubs <laughs> <laughs> That final night out was such a great way to end the trip with all of the group just having so much fun together. And I said at the start we'd waited three years for this trip and now that we've completed it, I'd say it's 100% worth the wait, like I wouldn't change any of it for the world. We had such a lovely group, everyone was super chilled and got on great. And Felix, our guide, was such a legend. He just brought so much energy and joy to the experience. And we were so lucky with the wildlife. We got to see far more than I ever hoped we would. Like seeing the elephants, all the different monkeys and birds, everything on the night walk, and of course the orangutans. So like I said, there's literally nothing I would change about this trip, except maybe have a zip line for the journey down Mount Kinabalu, because that was truly awful. <laughs> But just when we thought we couldn't get any more lucky, Jamie and I went to spend a couple of nights on Gaia Island just off the coast of Kota Kinabalu. This was after the tour had finished as a little holiday at the end of our holiday. And I wasn't really planning on filming anything, but when we arrived, the hotel manager told us there were whale sharks in the bay that morning. And so the next morning, we went out on kayaks, and sure enough, they were there. So yeah, Borneo was alright I guess. 